everyone, it's John from What Up, and welcome back to another video. And we're back at our bullshit again with more leaks from season two of The Wheel of Time. And I know you're thinking at this point, you're probably thinking, John, they wrapped filming for season two a number of months ago. How can you have leaks? Why do you have leaks? Why are we talking about this? Well, I've had these leaks since before they wrapped filming. I've had them for a very, very long time. And now that we've had a couple of teasers from production about season two, we can kind of compare the leaks to things that we've seen officially. And that's what we're going to do in today's video. Now, this leak comes to us from a local in Asoria, Morocco. It was sent to me in April of this year. Basically, they're out for their morning walk. Now, they filmed the Falma set in a very popular tourist destination. If you folks have Instagram or if you've been part of the fandom for a while, you've probably already seen set videos where they were actually doing some of the battle scenes and doing some of the acting from people sitting in restaurants across the street. They just kind of sat there and they filmed it and they put it on Instagram. Um, so this was very public. It was a very popular tourist spot. Um, it wasn't a close set in any way, shape, or form. Now, this this gentleman was out for a walk in the morning. They happened upon the set, and when I say happened upon it, it, it's a popular spot for walks in the morning. They asked some of the crew, can I go for a walk on the set, maybe take some video? And the crew was like, yeah, go ahead. Fill your boots. And they were given permission to walk around and film. They sent that, that, that video to me. It's about five minutes long, and I've had it since April. Now, I'm not going to show the whole video, of course. It's five minutes. It does show a couple of crew members here and there. We're going to cut them out, I'll edit the video a bit here and there, because we don't want to get anybody in trouble. Um, but we're going to take that video, and we're going to compare the raw set to some of the teaser stuff here. So this particular image was filmed in um, Isoria in Morocco in April. Uh, we're going to try to find this and some other things in that set, and we'll kind of splice in parts of the teasers and the set video I have, and uh, we'll just have a discussion about where this is going to end up in Season 2 and what it means. Now stay tuned at the end of the video because I have a special treat for you folks as well. I was recently sent a portrait of myself as Uno from the show, which is really cool. I mean, I, I didn't know what to say when I got it. It was really very cool, and it was done by Woodrome Illustrations. I've left a link to his socials down below in the description box, as well as a link to the store where you can purchase Wheel of Time merchandise. Yes, Amazon and Sony may have dropped the ball with Wheel of Time merch, but a lot of fans are making Wheel of Time merchandise because, let's face it, there's not much to buy, so we're filling in the gaps. He does Wheel of Time shirts, stickers, all kinds of other things. I'll showcase some of his products here at the end of the video and tell you how you can purchase them. And shout out to all the other Wheel of Time creators out there. If you have a Wheel of Time store, if you make Wheel of Time merch, uh, especially if it's unofficial because we don't have much official stuff right now, let me know. Drop me a line. The email is in the About section of my channel. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. I'd like to see some of your stuff and featured here in the channel because uh, Wheel of Time fans are hungry for merchandise. They're hungry for Wheel of Time stuff, and there isn't much official stuff out there. All right, now, before we get into the video, I have to give a slight spoiler warning because we are talking spoilery stuff for Season 2. So, uh, spoiler warning. In this video, we're talking about elements of Season 2, where Season 2 will go, and what we think is going to be in Season 2, and we're going to be showing set video and parts of the teasers from Season 2 as well. So if you haven't read at least the first three books of Robert Jordan's Wheel of Time series, that's The Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, and The Dragon Reborn, and if you haven't seen Season 1 of Sony and Amazon's Wheel of Time show, be forewarned, I may ruin plot points and character arcs from all of those mediums. All right, that being said, let's get on to the video. All right, so we're start with these Sean Chan soldiers scurrying across the top. Yeah, I did that. That's a bit of a tongue twister. They're running across the top of a wall. This was filmed in Asoria in Morocco in the set of what we believe to be Falma. Uh, in, in fact, it's there's so much circumstantial evidence that we can just say it's a set of Falma. I'm pretty sure at this point. Uh, but this does come to us in the very first part of our little walkthrough here. So this is the walkthrough I was talking about, um, and that's a wall there. This is where they were running across. So if you take a look at this promotional material where the Sean Chans were just kind of like booking it, it looks like they're almost running towards uh, the this end here that they're showcasing now. They're running up that way along the top of this wall. I don't know where they're running to. We've already seen set videos where they've had them fighting White Cloaks as well as other people who we assume are Heroes of the Horn, but we're not 100% sure on that. And I've done videos on that months and months and months ago. There are actual videos of people sitting in a restaurant, having their lunch, uh, taking video of the, the, the fight scenes and stuff going on, and, and there's nothing they... You know, it shows everything. So I think they're running towards that end there where they kind of built up those walls. Um, really, really very neat. But this walkthrough video, like I said, is about five minutes long. We're not going to show the whole thing. I just want to pick out certain parts of it that are kind of the same as some of this promotional material we're looking at. So next, we're going to look at a, a picture of Matt Cawthon. So we're going to we're going to stop this here and we're going to bring up Matt Cawthon. All right, so we have Matt Cawthon here. This is, uh, he's played by Donald Finn for season two and beyond. Uh, there was a bit of a change there. We know Barney Harris stopped playing Matt at about uh, the beginning of episode seven of season one. We're not 100% sure why, but that's the case. Uh, so then we bring up our little walkthrough that we have here. 
We'll carry on with it. Take a look at the stonework in behind um, Donald Finn's head there and take a look at the stonework on these walls here. It's the same stonework. So this shot is almost assuredly 100% done in uh, Soria at this particular set. And I think it's actually probably further down the line here. You can see the camera is going to pan to the right here in a second. I think it's right down there at the end uh, on the top of that wall because that looks like that, that that's, that's the corner that's in behind him there. Either way, very neat to see something like this when they're walking through and they're seeing all these props and stuff. Now, the person filming this did say that they spoke with the, um, they called them the decorating team. Uh, so they were getting the shots ready for the afternoon. They walked in and they said, can I... Can I take a uh, couple pictures and some video? And they were like, absolutely, go ahead. Uh, so we, this is where we got this video from. Um, showcases a lot of the really intricate props and stuff. Now, fun fact about a lot of these things here, these, these props and things, they're not... Some of them are props made for the show, but some of them are actual wares and stuff that were there. I reached out to a couple of the different companies that did these things, and they said that, yeah, some of these things were things they created for the show, but a lot of them were things that they were going to sell anyway. All right, so now we have this shot here. This comes to us from the behind the scenes look at season two, uh, an official production thing put out months ago now. But we're seeing in what appears to be uh, you know, an archway leading out into um, a, a larger area. There's some pots and stuff left there. If you see it, there's a Sean Chan soldier on the ground. There's some white cloaks in the background. This appears to be the Battle of Falma, at least we think so anyway. Um, if we take our little walkthrough that I was showing you guys earlier, Take a look here. The camera's got a pan to the left. I believe this is that same archway, uh, which is kind of very neat. So you have the pan to the left there. There's the archway. And then they pan back around. You can see those same pots and stuff hanging there that are on the left-hand side of this, this photo. And then they carry on walking through uh, the bottom part of the set. Now, I think what's going to happen here is you're going to see a lot of the battle happening down below. The Shan Chan soldiers will rush the castle up above. And I think they're going to intersperse a lot of the shots that were filmed uh, in another area in Morocco, um, Orzazate, uh, in an actual like studio where they film Game of Thrones and uh, The Last Kingdom and a few other different uh, fantasy shows. I think they're going to... Um, add them in together to kind of make it look like that's where they're rushing into up top. Thank you to the individual who sent me that video. I won't name you because you requested not to be, but thank you for that. I do appreciate it. And thank you to all of you out there who sent me pictures and video of the Battle of Falma. You're going to see that here in the channel in the next uh, few weeks or months um, because they are completely okay to share. They were taken across the street from a restaurant. In fact, that, uh, that walkthrough was filmed in the morning. Later that afternoon, when people came back for lunch, they were actually filming the Battle of Falma, and uh, I have videos uh, of the, the battle going on, and I have some pictures of it that are completely okay to share because they were taken from across the street. They weren't were taken from the set at all. Uh, so you'll be seeing that coming from the channel in the coming weeks and months, so watch out for that. Uh, another reason to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, uh, anyone out there who has any information on Season 2, Season 3, or beyond of The Wheel of Time, please drop me a line. My email is in the About section of my channel. I'd love to hear from you. Um, we all love leaks. The Wheel of Time fandom really likes leaks. Not everybody. It's not everybody's thing, but it's something I really enjoy and I really like reporting on them. So if you have anything at all and you'd like to share it with us here, we'd love to hear from you. Now, I did, I did promise a something special at the end about some Wheel of Time merchandise. So, uh, just... just Give me one second. I'm going to make a bunch of noise and go get it. There it is, folks. My gallon theme Younglings t-shirt from Woodrow Illustrations. Thank you so much for that. I do appreciate it. Uh, and I want to show you, uh, this is the original, but you can buy the print from his website if you like. This is me as Uno from, uh, from the Wheel of Time. Uh, take a look at that. That is absolutely amazing. I think... Uh, maybe just a little bit prettier than Guy Roberts. So there is that. So all kinds of really cool stuff on his website, woodromeillustrations.com. I've left a link to it down below in the description box, along with links to all of his socials. You can buy digital prints of some of his art there, some other cool things. Um, and like I said, any, anything that has to do with, with Gallon, the Younglings, or just Wheel of Time in general, I absolutely love getting it. Thank you so much for this. I do appreciate it. Um, really, really very cool. I'm glad you took the time out of your day to send this to me. And for everyone out there, if you're looking for real time merch, people like Woodrome Illustrations, they are filling the gap. Uh, they do make Wheel of Time merch, just not officially. So feel free to support the rest of the fandom because we don't have much from Sony and Amazon right now. Um, and these people are working very hard to fill the gaps for all kinds of really very neat Wheel of Time stuff. Thank you so very much for sticking with us here to the very end. And here's to many more.